The covenant between the Ramapo Culture and Land Foundation and Ricky Farm Ministries is hereby formalized on this eighth day of October 2018 by the undersigned parties, participants, and witnesses. Although being represented by entities, this covenant is truly between the human beings they represent, the descendants of the Ramapo Mountain Indians and the descendants of the Hinchman Ricky family, and all those now and in the future who will join and support these efforts and purposes. Both parties believe in stewardship, not ownership of land. Yet in order to function in the existing world in its ways, they will co-own and cooperate the lands most recently known as the Ricky Farm in Vernon, New Jersey, as well as any other lands they jointly acquire or possess in the future. The Ricky family were the original European settlers, colonists of this land, and have been the stewards for seven generations they find themselves humbled by the countless generations of stewardship in time immemorial by the ancestors of the Ramapo Muncie. Well, I guess I'd have to say that the visions, um, the ideas, things that could take place on the farm started to come when I moved back on the property. But it wasn't until I started a spiritual journey that I realized that those were not thoughts of my own, but those were thoughts that the Creator was planting. I realized that I had to put it all down on the altar and just allow the Creator to show me what He wanted to have here on the property. My connection with the Red Road, uh, with the Native Americans, uh, started with a, a local site that was in jeopardy of being uh, destroyed. It's a village where there was constant inhab inhabitation um, for seven to 10,000 years. Um, it was then that I learned that anything before our written history wasn't even called history, that it was called prehistory. Um, you know, there was a quarry here because of the materials, the, the chert or flint, a glass-like rock material that was very useful for tool making. Um, there was a large deposit of it exposed here, um, yet they called it a prehistoric quarry. It really started, I guess that was real, my first realization that know the Europeans um, considered themselves to be superior so as this process was going on of allowing the Creator to reveal to me um, what should and what would happen here the three main purposes um, I believe the land is supposed to fulfill is to be a refuge a place of resources and a place of restoration but so I guess it was this convergence of, you know, me asking God, which I now refer to more often as a creator, um, allowing God to show me what his vision and what his plan for this property was. And uh, I met Vincent Mann several years ago at a uh, forgiveness ceremony and a reseeding of the Lenape culture ceremony became aware of the people that were on this land, the human beings that were on this land for much longer than my seven generations. And I really was humbled by that, the fact that, you know, hundreds of generations um, of Vincent's people um, took care of this land, lived on this land, respected this land um, long before my ancestors came across the ocean. And then another driving force with this was realizing that, you know, through our use of the land and the selling of sand and gravel, um, we had actually destroyed a Native American, a very sacred Native American burial site that I didn't realize ex I didn't realize it existed until I gained the knowledge that I have today. And I and I can't go back and change that. I can't put that mound of gravel back, and I can't put the bones back there and whatever was buried with those bones, I can't put that back. Um, but as Vincent says, where are we going from here? That's what's important. Um, recognizing, you know, the wrongs of the past is just the first part. Um, yes, it's important, um, but both him and I are solution-oriented. So I guess it all just, you know, converged with this, you know, um, 
this plan for creating a place where there's refuge, resources, and restoration. So I guess it was a natural progression towards this, towards this partnership. The purpose of this partnership is to facilitate healing and recovery in human beings so that those human beings can better facilitate recovery of community, culture, and the planet. And carry that wherever they travel. Thus the operation here on these lands will be called the recovery farm and it will be a place of refuge, resources, and restoration. And not that it's not occurring in other places, um, but we do feel that it's special is an example that needs to be shared.